What is going on everyone? My name is NW197 and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Uh, for it's almost been two months since uh, Destiny 2 is out and uh, I actually got pretty comfortable on what my most favorite weapons are. So this video, what it's all about is my top five most favorite exotic weapons in Destiny 2. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it and uh, let's go, go ahead and get started. And we're going to start off with number five. Okay, coming at number five is we have the Sunshot. Now this weapon is actually pretty interesting. So what's the cool thing about this weapon is that it basically has Firefly on it. Um, not only for shooting uh, enemies at the head, there's also shooting enemies anywhere on their, you know, in, on their body. Like you can shoot them with the torso, you can shoot them with the leg, you can shoot them with the arm, anywhere. Uh, What's also cool is that Sunshot also basically has explosive rounds on it as well. So it does a little bit more damage uh, depending on how far it is uh, you shoot at enemies. It basically uh, gets rid of uh, fallout, fallout damage with range. And uh, honestly that is very effective in PvE. What's also great about this weapon is it does a lot of damage. Like, you know, uh, a lot of the mechanics with uh, Destiny 2 with uh, shields now is you don't have to use a weapon uh, that's the same uh, elemental type it is all you have to do is just use uh, any elemental weapon and then it's just going to pop the shield very quickly uh, even though you're not going to go against uh, enemies that have like a solar shield and it's not going to explode it's still extremely effective uh, plus you know it's just since this is uh, you know since uh, Destiny 2 starts off fighting Cabal where you have a whole bunch of Saturians out there. Uh, Saturians have shoulder shields, so this make this weapon even makes it even more useful. Uh, it's just really effective. Um, I like to call it um, Icebreaker from Destiny One and Thorn from Destiny One as well. And I had a baby, really. Uh, it's just every time that you kill something, it, uh, the enemy will explode, and it's just really, really effective. Uh, what I love to do, what kind of activities I love to do with this weapon is uh, really just PvE, just do public events, uh, strikes, um, really the nightfall, like it's extremely effective with all of those uh, activities. Honestly, it's one of my most favorite and probably the best um, PvE weapons out there. Now for the raid, now for the raid, it's kind of a little more iffy, like there is some selected weapons that are overall fantastic for the raid uh, but it's still ex extremely effective and you could have a whole bunch of uh, fun using this weapon in the raid but I prefer to use uh, a weapon like uh, Nameless Midnight or um, there's also the Origin Story, Oral's Gift etc. Uh, it's just overall um, a solid weapon like throughout all the game. Uh, PvP I'm not sure for like the damage uh, capabilities it has it's just it's a faster fire rate uh, low uh, impact uh, weapon uh, even though that it has explosive rounds uh, it still doesn't do enough damage in PvP although I do have some of my friends that still love this weapon in PvP uh, so overall use this for PvE uh, PvP uh, use whatever uh, don't apologize I guess uh, so yeah so Sunshot is an amazing weapon and uh, I just love the utility of it like it has awesome reload speed it just has uh, lots of utility and uh, it actually feels really good on hunters like there's a um, I believe there are boots that give you um, increased like uh, you know stats while you have a hand cannon equipped and I think uh, the sure shot will be absolutely perfect uh, for that hunter exotic. Uh, you could probably use it more for, uh, if you really want to use it for PvE, you could probably use that exotic. Uh, but yeah, if you get a search shot, automatic pickup, and do not delete it, please. It's an overall good weapon. And so if you think, if you, if I love this weapon so much that it's my number 5, you can just imagine how much I love these other, other weapons coming up. Uh, so, we're going to start off with number 4, and let's get to it. Okay, coming in at number four, we have the one and only Sweet Business. Now, what's actually really cool about the Sweet Business is that uh, a lot of people don't know this. Um, 
The Sleep Business actually does overall the most damage with uh, bosses if you do continuous damage uh, against bosses. Actually, uh, it's one of the highest, it's actually one of the m most recommended weapons to use uh, to fight the final boss in the Leviathan Raid. A lot of people don't know how useful this weapon is uh, because, you know, it just does a lot of damage. Uh, the reason why it does a lot of damage is because that uh, when you shoot the weapon, it gets faster the mo uh, as the longer you hold the trigger. So when you, you when you are um, holding the trigger, um, it speeds up extremely quickly, and that's a lot of DPS coming towards your enemies. Uh, a lot of people actually didn't know this until Dado had made a recent video about uh, you know the overall DPS numbers for um, Callus. I actually uh, kind of suspected Sleep Business being a really good weapon for Callus. It's just uh, I was actually quite surprised at how useful it was. Uh, not only Sleep Business is good for bosses, but it's overall good for uh, ads as well. Uh, as you can see here on the you know gameplay, uh, it's actually doing a lot of damage against uh, the ship during the public event, and uh, sometimes it could be a little bit pesky uh, trying to get rid of that ship, uh, but with sleep business is absolutely no problem, especially if you have like two or more people just taking you out. In fact, uh, if you were to use Rally Barrier, like as you can see, I didn't use Rally Barrier, but if you were to use Rally Barrier and just, uh, you know, poke out of it every once in a while, then you're going to do a whole bunch of DPS without reloading. And that's probably the biggest thing, uh, the biggest, um, you know, the biggest. Uh, reason you want to use sleep business is doing as much damage as possible without reloading uh, a really good build is you could use a striker uh, using sleep business using rally barricade and using an, an exotic I forgot the name it's like the Alcrium war rig or something like that and uh, what what this exotic does is a chess piece that it reloads your um, auto rifle without you reloading it like every couple of seconds or so. So you're shooting uh, the sleep business uh, at longer periods of time and it's even a more useful just using auto rifles overall. So uh, if you're going to use sleep business I definitely recommend a Titan with that exotic on and uh, yeah it's actually really fun to use and uh, it makes you feel like uh, I don't know what kind of movie that use a Gatling gun like uh, the Fast and Furious where Dwayne Johnson uses a Gatling gun uh, on a helicopter. It's just awesome and uh, if you're a titan and uh, you want to do as much damage as possible this is the weapon to do it. You will feel like a titan, you will look like a titan and you will just be awesome as a titan using this weapon. Uh, I have I have so much fun with this weapon and I cannot recommend it more than sleep business. So that's my number four and let's get up to number three. Okay, coming in at number three is the Notorious Mita Multi-Tool. Now, what's actually really interesting about this weapon is uh, it's extremely controversial and uh, I just discovered recently uh, for no reason at all. So, with high caliber rounds, um, it's a very special perk where it, it causes more flinch with both your enemies and uh, really in both PvE and PvP. Uh, so what's interesting is, there was a recent video that came out where Fallout plays, uh, it's actually a really awesome YouTuber, I recommend you watch him, uh, where he goes ahead and compares high caliber rounds <coughs> with uh, Mighty Multi-Tool and other weapons. And apparently it doesn't, it does improve the uh, flinch factor for uh, weapons, but not that much. It's literally like a single digit percentage on... Uh, how much of a difference that actually uh, you know gives you uh, so really um, overall in Destiny 2 there's just a lot of flinch factor within all of the weapons so uh, Mighty Multi-Tool um, overall it's just such a good weapon that uh, it's just constructed so well that even if you had if you didn't have high caliber rounds on it it's still an awesome weapon uh, so Really interesting indeed, like I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of people are going to get pretty angry. It's like, oh, it's not going to get nerfed. Uh, even though if, if you completely give it a high caliber rounds, my multi-tool is still going to be an awesome weapon. And so, 
it just it just makes me like this weapon even more it's just how awesome it is like it does a lot of damage it's uh, rate of fire is absolutely perfect it's reload speed is awesome it's stability is awesome and it's utility is awesome and what, and what, yeah I'm sorry guys and what I love about this weapon is that since it has high caliber rounds it actually affects other enemies a lot more in PvE than PvP, as shown with Fallout Place. I'll probably uh, get, I'll probably put the video down in the link in the description, and uh, just to show you how uh, it really is. In fact, I should probably give you uh, videos down in the link in the description with the Datto uh, video as well with uh, damage comparisons. Uh, so anyway, uh, coming back from the rabbit hole, uh, my the multi tool is. Honestly, really, really good in PvP. It's actually one of my most favorite weapons to use in PvE uh, because of the high caliber rounds. Uh, just make the enemies flinch so they won't shoot me so, and I can shoot them. Really, really awesome weapon. Um, you know, overall gameplay, both PvE and PvP, is basically a must. Uh, I probably wouldn't use this during the raid or the nightfall or something like that, but it's still a good weapon. And uh, I basically use it everything else besides the raid or nightfall. But uh, other than that, trials, iron banner, regular crucible. Yeah, my the multi tool isn't pretty awesome. Like I cannot recommend you enough to try to get this weapon. What's actually really cool is you don't have to get uh, it. You don't have to uh, hunt for uh, find a multi tool just going through RNG. You can actually get it through a quest. Uh, which is actually pretty easy to do as long as you save uh, five uh, scout ri five rare scout rifles. So that's all you need to do, guys. I love this weapon. Now let's get to number two. Now, number two is the Merciless. Now this weapon is just awesome. Like this is what future rifles should have been back at Destiny One. Now Merciless. What's really interesting about this weapon is that um, when you hit a target and it doesn't die, um, it basically makes it so that the charge rate will actually get uh, smaller or shorter. And if you still haven't killed the enemy, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter and it gets to the point where uh, there's no charge rate at all. You just had to keep spamming it until uh, the enemy is dead. Now what's now uh, using this now there's also a cool thing about this weapon is that you know uh, since it has a, a really big magazine you can shoot it like as much times as you want and uh, it just does a lot a lot of damage it's really high uh, impact a uh, slow firing rate but that's okay uh, the more d the more damage you do on a single target um, the more damage you will do automatically as you can see here it's just burning through the boss and you, as you can see there's no charge rate whatsoever uh, this weapon is overall fantastic for the raid like basically um, throughout the Leviathan raid you could just have this equ equipped throughout all of the raid you don't have to switch any uh, guns you could you're overall fan really good with using this uh, fusion rifle merciless and Actually, a lot of people don't. Uh, what a lot of people don't do is they they don't use uh, merciless for PvP. I actually like using merciless for PvP uh, because it's still a good gun uh, in uh, PvP. Uh, since it's really high impact and slow firing rate, um, you could still do a one hit kill. Uh, that's what most all fusion rifles do. As long as you have good aim and uh, good timing, uh, you will do. Uh, you will use Merciless extremely well. Uh, so, uh, overall, Merciless is actually like my number two weapon, uh, mainly because of the utility of the weapon. Like, you, it's awesome for both PVE and PVP. Uh, it's basically the Galahorn of Destiny 2, and uh, <laughs> honestly, just the feel of the gun just. Uh, just shooting it. It's just really, really uh, fun to use. Um, the sound of the weapon firing is awesome. And uh, it, I don't know about you guys, but every time I shoot this weapon and uh, I don't kill it, I just, I feel surprised every time that I uh, 
it just gets shorter and shorter until I have no firing rate uh, whatsoever with this weapon. It's just an awesome weapon. Like, man, I wish future rifles were like this back at Destiny uh, One, and uh, I'm actually kind of disappointed that we didn't have to. We didn't have. Uh, this much fun with fusion rifles back at Destiny 1. Like, I think the only person that had this much fun uh, was True Vanguard. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, why Bungie? Make. I am so glad you made fusion rifles like this, but come on. I absolutely love these weapons. Like, it is such an awesome weapon, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's just. Wow. And, uh, okay, guys. Even though I love uh, Merciless. Uh, we are still going to keep on going, and I'm going to tell you my number one weapon, and uh, you'll actually probably know which one. You're pro if you were to listen throughout this entire channel, uh, then you know what will be my most favorite weapon. Now, coming in at number one is the Borealis. Now, you guys know that I am a huge fan of Icebreaker. That was my most favorite weapon of all time in Destiny. Uh, well, I'm actually glad. I absolutely love snipers, and I am so glad Bungie, Bungie had brought uh, an awesome sniper in Destiny 2. And this sniper is the Borealis. What's really cool about this weapon is that uh, it's actually really interesting. Uh, the archetype of Borealis, the um. The impact of Borealis is absolutely ridiculous. Like, it just has... It does so much damage. But its rate of fire is actually a higher rate of fire weapon. So, it has the best of both worlds. It has awesome impact and awesome rate of fire. And I absolutely love that. It, feel, it shoots just like Icebreaker, the same archetype. Uh, but it hits like a truck, just like, uh, you know, Black Spindle. Uh, what's also awesome about this weapon is that it actually changes elements. Like, it could be all three elements. It could be arc, it could be void, and it could be solar. And that's actually really useful for taking out its uh, enemy shields. Uh, so, every time you uh, pop an enemy shield, it actually does more... It does, like, a uh, elemental explosion, and it does even more damage. And its uh, initial perk... Uh, I forgot the name of the perk, but... What this perk does is, if you pop the enemy uh, shield with this particular ele element, uh, it's able, you'll get one uh, bullet back into the magazine. So, if you just see a whole bunch of Centurions or a whole bunch of, uh, you know, um, Minotaurs or anything, it could be Wizards, um, they, you could get a bullet, you could basically get a bullet back every time you kill an enemy. And that is pretty awesome. Uh, it's actually really interesting that you see a sniper that's actually effective against enemies with shields. And you never see that with a snipers. If you want to use a sniper, either you want to, uh, you know, take out something that's really far away, or you want to do boss damage. Uh, I never even thought of, of a sniper being able to uh, go against shielded enemies and being extremely effective. Like, sometimes I feel... That, you know, I absolutely love snipers, and, uh, you know, snipers are awesome for DPS, and they're really good for uh, taking out far enemies. But, sometimes snipers, uh, would just be c completely useless if I just want to take out a shielded enemy. Well, that's when Borealis came, and, like, I am so glad that happened. And I absolutely love, uh, Borealis, and, uh, this is my number one pick. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you go ahead to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Uh, check out my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, and my Twitch. And uh, comment below what's your most favorite exotic weapon. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and check out the videos down in the description. Okay guys, see you next time. Okay, starting the video. So... Question is, I should talk about the my most favorite exotics. So I know I have a couple of them in my Titan I want to use. So, oh yeah, there you go. Sleep business and my multi tool. I think I might have another one here. Okay. 
yeah that's that one uh, let's go ahead and to let's go to my warlock